This is on boats and streams. Here we go. This was posted by Just Choth. It says a boat can travel at 40 kilometers per hour maximum. While going upstream, it goes at 75% of its top speed. And while going downstream, it goes at 65% of its top speed. If it travels in a stream with a speed of 5 kilometers per hour, then approximately how long would it take to complete a round trip of 200 kilometer distance? How long would it take to complete a round trip of 200 kilometers distance? Yeah. So first part of the question is about the speeds there, right? The maximum speed that the boat can achieve is 40 kilometers per hour, right? 40 kilometers per hour maximum. While going upstream, it goes at 75% of its top speed. Now 75% of its top speed, meaning 75% of 40, which is 30 kilometers per hour. So we can now conclude that upstream speed is 30 kilometers per hour. And while going downstream, it goes at 65% of its top speed. What is 65% of top speed? Top speed is 40. 65% of 40 should be what? Uh, 26 kilometers per hour. 60% is 24. 5% is 2. So 24 plus 2, 26 kilometers per hour. So now the question boils down to simple. That while going upstream, the boat travels at 30 kilometers per hour. And while going downstream, it travels at 26 kilometers per hour. Right? And it travels in a stream with a speed of 5 kilometers per hour. This is the speed of the stream. Speed of the stream is 5 kilometers per hour. So approximately how long will it take to complete a round trip of 200 kilometer distance? So there's a round trip of 200 kilometer distance. How long will it take? See, we know that time is equal to, here in this case, the time required will be equal to time taken to go upstream plus time taken to go downstream. Yes or no? Total time is what we need to find. How long will it take? So upstream time plus downstream time. Now, what is this upstream? See, time is distance by speed, right? So distance upstream by speed upstream plus distance downstream by speed downstream. Now just substitute the values. What is that? You don't have to write these two equations by the way. You can directly start working with numbers. So upstream distance 100 kilometers. Remember 200 kilometer round trip. How long will it take to complete a round trip of 200 kilometers? The round trip was 200 kilometers. So 100 kilometers upstream and 100 kilometers downstream. At least that's what I understand from this one, right? How long will it take to complete a round trip of 200 kilometers? It has to go 100 kilometers upstream and then come back 100 kilometers downstream. Now, what is the speed upstream? We know that when you're going upstream, speed should be taken difference of speeds. So 30 minus 5 plus downstream, downstream time. Distance is 100 again. Speed. Downstream, the uh, speed should be taken sum of the speeds. So 26 plus 5. Yes or no? Because when you're going downstream, the speed is, the, the stream is in your favor. When you're going upstream, you are going against the flow of the river. So speed reduces. That's it. Now just work on this. Upstream distance, upstream speed, downstream distance, downstream speed. So it should be 100 upon 25 plus 100 upon 31. So this is 4, 4 plus something. What is 100 by 31? 100 by 31 is, you know, 3 point something. Right? So overall answer should be four, 7 point something. Right? Check options. 6.19 is wrong. 6.34 is wrong. 6.89 is wrong. Either 7.23 or fifth option, none of this. 1, 2, 3 are definitely wrong because answer should be more than 7. Right? 4 plus 3 point something. It should be more than 7. Now is it exactly 7.23 or fifth option, none of this is what you need to figure out. How do you do? 100 by 31. So 100 can be, see 100 by 31, right? Do it mentally. I am writing it on paper to explain to you, but you have to do it mentally. I will break 100 as 93 plus 7. Because 93 is 93 is 3 times of 31, right? So 91 by 31 can be taken as 3. Plus 7 by 31. See, 7 by 31 now is like 1 fourth. Approximately 1 fourth, right? Approximately 1 fourth. Because 7 by 28, 7 by 28 is 1 by 4. 7 by 31 is approximately 1 by 4. Slightly less than 1 by 4. So I can say 0.25. Or slightly less than 0.25. So this is actually 3.25. So 7.25. In fact, actual answer should be slightly lesser than approximately 7.25, less than 7.25. Actual answer should be less than 7.25. Why am I saying so? Because in this case, we have observed, right? We took 7 by 31 as 1 by 4, which is 0.25. But actually, 7 by 31 will be less than 0.25. The denominator was approximated to 28 approximate denominator is 28 actual denominator is more and the actual denominator 31 is more actual value will be less so actual value will be less than 0.25 you're getting it
So I think 7.23 looks like the answer there. Don't waste your time in doing the exact calculation. You can go ahead and mark option 4. Option 4, 7.23. So I think it was a simple one, should not take more than more than 40 seconds in 30 to 40 seconds in memory because it's just that the speed of the boat is not constant, right? Usually we have a speed for the boat, speed of the stream. You add these to get the downstream speed, subtract these to get the upstream speed. But in this case, the boat itself had different speeds going upstream and downstream. And those speeds were not given directly. Those are percentages of its maximum speed. So that's the only additional calculation you need to do. Otherwise, it's simple, right? Time is equal to distance by speed. So upstream distance by upstream speed, downstream distance by downstream speed.